talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Not gonna bother talking to them. But is there anything back here? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Let's talk Good to morning. this guy. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. Or not. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems Take like a easy, lifetime Aquaman. ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. <laughs> you just smell that way. Okay. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Mom will feed you. So far, they haven't had any real weird ones. Maybe the squirrel might have been bad. Processor unlocked. I wonder if they explained that snow. Snow? Well, that's a good start to the story. Nothing. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Yeah, so definitely a good thing I didn't send Kate to the cops. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. I was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Married to a real prick. Hey, she knows him. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once. Asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. And let's How hear long this. have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What happened? What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb, made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have to go now. Goodbye. Anything else over here? A dog. The unlocked image stabilizer. 
And anything else? Bacon and eggs for six bucks? Wow. That How many pieces of bacon, I wonder? Is this the one that we wrote wash me on or whatever? Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. There's that dirty RV from the yeah, other Yeah, yeah, it is the one. Obviously, nobody took my advice. Uh, it's what it's like being a dark hero. Ignored until you finally set something on fire. But we did pick off quite a few pictures, so what else were we looking for? Fire, walk with me, 142, and a deer. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware makes me feel 13 again. Now oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. Can you actually talk to all these? Hmm. Weird lady, fisherman. I think the weird lady has more promise. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? What a weirdo. Kate Marsh, love you long time. Flush before visiting on floor. That graffiti has been here forever. Good advice. I can't really read this. I aim to misbehave. Gross. Hey. The Twin Peaks reference. And there's a deer on the wall. Is that the other one? Compressed unlocked. Thank you, redneck poet. <laughs> Dude. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Yeah, you're sitting next to a pig. Hello, you get sir. what you deserve. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Seriously? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. Uh, I wouldn't use that word. <laughs> we know each other. Why do you ask? He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. Some people get high school educations. Hey you! Let's talk about Chloe. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <laughs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just yeah. tell the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Plus the Besides, paperwork means... David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? And not to mention the paperwork that would go with the arrest... I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. Speaking How of well Joyce. do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. Yep, creepy. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. Too late. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. 
I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Truckers. And is there anything else? Wall of Fame. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Can I actually go into the kitchen? No. Let's move forward. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. <laughs> You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe... Chloe chose to stay angry. That's how you get anyway, things done. I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. Right. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Whatever's cheapest. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One ba the only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. <laughs> and the... Portions have decreased in size, I bet. What do we have here? Fried fish, nine bucks. Ask about our daily special. Make an omelet for the young lady, Stat. Bacon at twelve o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a good diner, question. Not a bar. It's just no a simple beer? request. <laughs> the lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. 
But then it wouldn't be a moment. So is there anything else for me to examine? No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? It's a dive. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. mm, Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat. To you, for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire, smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Ouch. You guys are still the same. Worst punishment possible. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Well, we can't tell because YouTube. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Drugs. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. So stuff I has to happen. Every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? <laughs> I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. You have a tube of glitter in there, right? Nada. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. None of the above? That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Oh well. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay, you can read this. So, are we supposed to actually count that up? 86 cents? Warning ticket? You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. Or we can just move forward. I bet forward. you have a photographic memory. Get it. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy! I need details! Describe my keychain. Panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Saving the ticket for last. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. I don't yes, remember the you know brand. I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. And the ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Baseballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. 
You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. If you say so. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments. So you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. I remember this from the trailer. Hopefully it... Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. So here comes the tedious part. Now remember if there's a way to speed this up. Right trigger. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? From there, the cop gets an alert and his partner leaves, I believe. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And the jukebox. I didn't see what actually landed on it. I'm gonna go with butterfly. The jukebox goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Hopefully, three out of four will get us by. Oops. Dude, Did you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Cockroach. So the place has roaches. This is a That's sad day in Maxville. This is yeah. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think well, three out of four. That'll work. David Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that's happened. I'm going to Okay, trucker drops his mug. The truck so, what happened? Partner leaves. The cop well, let's just... Just... This is getting good. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. And here it goes. Since I have it right this time, we get a different scene. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Pour the coffee on his head. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. First rule of fight club, folks. It. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. 
This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can find anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Yes, she did. Uh, Deal with it. Check out your nose. Too much blow? Exactly. Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then... Let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. It's the junkyard, if I remember correctly. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? Smile and punch him. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. She's honest. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Uh huh. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Wow. Let's okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Hey Kate, what's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. Forget what? Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. Deal with it. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. It's not like I won't see her in class later. And the creepy dude in the uh, RV. So we're going to be confronting him in this video. Or this part of the game, at least. going to get pissed at me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? <laughs> Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. So right there is one of the Drink? pictures. Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. What's the worst that you could happen? You can happen? handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please.
not the first time she's been here. Or right, those are shotgun. Fresh. Syringes. Awesome. Now all we're missing is the dead body. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. <sighs> what are we looking for here? One, four, two. And maybe the deer's in this part? Hmm. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Nope, I don't want to go there. What was over there? I don't want to go that way. <sighs> okay, looks like the obvious answer is out. So I was thinking climb up there. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Can't skip this. Am I morbid or just goth? Maybe I can get up there from over here then. The Bigfoots were here. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. And smash the bottle. Figured it'd get smashed and I'd have to rewind. Hello, bottle number one. One more to go. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. And I have a bad feeling that's what I need to take a picture of. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. Here it comes. I bet I can find out more about that. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Well, that went in a different direction from what I was expecting. I don't want to go that way. Aha, so it's the tracks that she's concerned about. I don't want to go that way. Only three bottles left. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Too late. Okay, picking where we left off. We have two bottles and we need to find one, five, four here in. Wowzer. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect auto op. What? My rewind power doesn't work on her? I don't get it. Okay, how do I turn this off then? So, dynamite Ranga? Unlocked. Otherwise, there's something up here for us. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Too many. The horror stories you could tell. This is the scariest thing here. <laughs> Are there bullet holes in it? Sadly, due to the way they show the interactive items, you can't be too sure. Break time. Oh, 142. And we know the one is Chloe with the gun. Yeah, so far so good, I think. So we just have to watch out for a beaker, a shadow, and then Chloe. No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I love the hush puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. And now I need to get serious about the bottles since I have all the pictures. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. Oh, and we knock it over? Stupid bottle. So can I move it? Aha. Uh -huh. There are, you know, there's no climb option, so let's just try taking it now. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haste. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Probably somewhere in the junkyard here. Get a shovel. And she can play about being a little bit. 
It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Look what the students did to it. That poor, poor bus. Didn't deserve that. This was an old school punk shirt. Another washing machine. Some sort of laundromat going to business or something? It's so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Time is to burn things? Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. Cleanse with fire? I just have to figure out the message. Flame hot. I wonder if one of the bottles is out here. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Yeah, I thought that's over where the deer was. Is this not it? Yeah, one of the bad parts about the game is you can't smell the ash to hone in on it. Then again, I'm not sure you want to go around sniffing the air in the junkyard. So what do I know? Normally I'd say something about you wanting to keep the fire near a source of water, but if you're lighting a fire in a junkyard, I get the feeling you're not a very responsible person in the first place. Now that we have the pictures, I can actually afford to take time to look here. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. Crazy. Chloe was here, Rachel was here. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. And they can drag Kate along. But I'm gonna probably gonna piss her off. I want to die. <sighs> Jeez. Who wrote this? First being chased by Slender Man. One more I shouldn't do anything people enjoy my video all over the world. What is it without the drama queens in this game? I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. That kind of hurts. So you get a little high and rave. It might happen once or twice or a dozen times. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. They had it coming. Every car has its own tale in history. Yeah, but normally you don't see one that has windshield impaled by. What is that, like a 4x12? Uh, that wouldn't be a 4x12, that would be... Hmm. I'm not sure of my standard lumber measurements. I have four, go find your own damn bottle. I have to find dirty-ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby? And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God? Or the gods? So, bow. And get to work. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Uh, world domination's no too I troublesome. I still don't even know how my power works. Or for how long. Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic. Boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Okay, to save you the trouble of roaming around here, the bonfire spot is right there. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. And let's just grab our bottle. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Last time. And we just have to race back over to her. And after all that, I just need to remember, I still have to get a picture. Thanks, Max. And she has number six. Wait, one more for the road? So they're probably serious hers. about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Oh, God. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first.
Show me the way, Max. Okay, you gonna let me move around or not? I should rewind and help Chloe hit those bottles. <sighs> Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Up. Where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's... Ooh. Let's Hello? do the barrel. Which... Let's see you take a crack at that rusty barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel. Your time has come. <laughs> Listen to those fat bullet beats! Who did we hit? That was awesome, but Chloe wants those bottles now. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? Like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. Oh, How about God. using that junker for a target now? Dude, oh, I need the a gas target tank. before I shoot. Let's see what happens when you <laughs> shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom. Yeah, run. Car definitely down, but no bottle casualties. Ah, disappointing. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Now does a body fall out of the trunk? Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero! Now it's your turn to bust a cap. Yeah, get your fingerprints on that gun. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! So did I miss the photo op? She drew a symbol in my blood, apparently. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Photo time first. Colorized achieved. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. Here's I where the game know about this. becomes a FPS. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo hoo! Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Delma and Louise. 
Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. He's the dealer? Heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girlie? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Waste him. That is hilarious. Oh, man. What kind of gun only has four bullets too. in that? I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Carry a full cylinder, you morons. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Man, we're making Jesus, a lot of I enemies. I shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Those are the breaks. So aren't you guys already anticipating the finale why, for this? Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Which way did she go? She's in the little house thing, isn't she? Okay, where did she go? Oh. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from here. Well, Just the... another day of Max's fucked up life. Time to go get Chloe. The art did show them on the railroad tracks.